Okay, hello, and uh, welcome back to our video series here. Uh, in this series, I'm just going to try to kind of rebuild the thing that I had open in the last video, which was that kind of soap dish looking thing. And while I'm at it, <clears throat> we're going to talk a little bit about um, sketch relations, because uh, I think that there's quite a bit to say about it. There's some ones you've got to memorize, and... So while I'm kind of just setting this up right here, just kind of try to pay attention to what I'm doing and maybe follow along if you want. I'm just going to make a series of ellipses. First one on the ground plane, second one's going to be on this plane here. And um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a loft between the two. And I want to add some guide curves to the two loft sections to try to help them get a little bit more interest. Let me just hide that curve. So here we go. Now we're gonna be on our uh, front plane and I'm gonna just make a sketch. You can see what I was doing there is I just using that flyout menu in a really fast way, just right clicking and skirting my mouse over to try to catch that spline tool as it pops up. So I'm gonna click a line just kind of out in space and not exactly hit the other two curves. And that's because I wanna have control over this relationship right here. I'm, I wanna add a sketch relation here, but it has to be a very specific one because this is a guide curve for a loft. I wanna make sure that I use the pierce command to get this curve to hit this curve, okay? If I just click this point and then click this, I'll get a certain amount of tools that'll pop up. They look like that. All right, but the one that I'm looking for is called Pierce. In order to get that, I have to click the, the point I wanna hit, I have to hold down Control, and then click the line, and then I'll see Pierce that's gonna pop up. See that? Hit that, and you'll get a Pierce command between this line and this line. All right, and then you're gonna see this little icon here. This is the icon for the sketch relation, Pierce, it's got a little green in it, easy to spot. Click this point, hold down control and click this curve and then you can make a Pierce command between that one. Now because this is a spline, I've got handles that I can adjust to kind of soften it up. There's that, I'll just go like that. All right. Now I want to go ahead and just probably want to do the same over here on the other side. I'm just going to grab my spline tool. I'm going to put one on this side as well. Pierce and Pierce. Okay. Once it's pierced, look at it normal too. All right, there we go. So we've got that one down. I just want to add some dimensions here to these so that I know that they're the same angle on both sides. There we go. All right, we are good now and we're ready to fire off our lofted boss base. We're going to go from this top curve down to this bottom one and then we're going to add these guide curves to help out with the rest of the form. There we go. And we did that using the pierce command. If we hadn't used the pierce command, the whole loft would have failed. All right. So there we go like that. I'm just going to quickly throw a shell on here. 0 0.08 as far as a wall thickness goes. And then we'll prove that. And we'll go to our front plane and just quickly hit normal too. I'm going to grab my spline tool and I'm just gonna put a little arc spline kind of right through here very hard to see something elegant like that there we go 
and then I'm going to quickly just switch over excuse me to editing this and putting <coughs> a cage around it so that I can use it to do a cut extrude so I'm just going to go cut extrude using the sketch and I'm going to set that to go through all in both directions so that I know I'm chopping through everything and there we go with our little soap dish just like that so that's full speed ahead modeling probably very hard to see with the frame rate that I picked for these videos but we're using these flyout menus at every turn to not only pick tools but also navigate around our model so there you go don't forget to use that pierce command when you're setting up guide curves otherwise I'll see you in the next video alright thanks a lot bye